What's going on guys? Mark here and this is the radio studio which I do my show in and this is about it. Just wanted to give you guys a behind the scenes look. We're not done yet, we just moved in this facility so everything's still pretty new but uh, we're working on it. As you can see we are fully under construction but we we are working on it. So this right now is the studio. This is where we do the show. So, oh, the Tim Hortons coffee first thing in the morning. Okay, so we're gonna set this baby up and uh, get moving here, all right? Good morning, everybody. You are listening to Gameplay. I'm your host, Mark Yipsy, and we are live on 100.3 CKMS Sound FM. So, how was everybody's first week back to work, the first week of 2016? Mine was super duper slow. It was, uh, it felt as if, it felt as if I was uh, at work for three weeks already, uh, honestly. I thought it was gonna fly by being off for a bunch of days in a row and having a good time, but no, no. As the wonderful work week brings, it brings pain and suffering, for me anyways. But we're working on that, all right. So, a man from Japan, now this, that rhymed, I can't believe it. A man from Japan has left his Super Famicom system, which is uh, the original Super Nintendo, and he has left it on for over 20 years in order to keep a save game. I'm just blinking in complete shock right now that somebody would go through that uh, the game is Umahara Kawase I have that's I probably butchered that uh, I've never heard of it it's a, clearly a Japanese game uh, apparently this guy has over a hundred and eighty thousand hours of save game <laughs> it's not the long it's been saving for uh, apparently he did move and he had to unplug the system at one point but a if I read the article right, he hooked it up to some sort of battery in order to keep it alive uh, only long enough for him to move and then plug it back in in his new place. Like this guy is dedicated. I never, I've never seen or heard of such dedication as, as this to a game. Like there was a time where I loved Final Fantasy and I could play you know 12 hours a day of that. But I mean, God, 20 years? You don't even turn it off? Man, oh man, you're desperate for that game. So yeah, that is the first one. The second story I've got for you. Well, the company that released these uh, this review uh, is Pornhub. So there you go. Uh, they've released its yearly review, including a look at which gaming consoles use their porn site the most. And PlayStation users, you can feel proud at almost 50%. Uh, I have a PS4, but I, I honestly don't think I'd be surfing porn on the console. Like, <laughs> on your system? I don't know. I'm just not into that. Uh, I hope not, anyhow. Uh, Xbox is a close second at almost 40%. Well, the Wii came in at 9%. I mean, the Wii? The Wii? Who the hell watches porn on the Wii? What is wrong with people? Oh man, and, and the PS Vita, the PS Vita comes in with a meager 5%. I, I find it odd that they would track this, but I guess in this digital age, they have, the, uh, digital age, they have to track everything. But regardless, I, I just find it absolutely somewhat ridiculous and definitely disturbing that uh, people are, People are watching porn on their Wii. I, I, I mean, come on. Get a computer, get a laptop, get a phone. <laughs> Jesus, unbelievable. Man, get a magazine. Because, you know, I've been waiting for Dead Island 2 forever, and then Dying Light 2 was scheduled to come out, and then there was talks of Dying Light, and Dying Light came out, and Dead Island 2 was delayed. Now, I'm gonna say that The, the developers for Dying Light probably looked at, uh, or the developers for Dead Island 2 probably looked at Dying Light and said, wow, we better up our game, and then did so accordingly. 
And now Dying Light uh, is coming out with the Enhanced Edition and the following DLC. So let's hope Dead Island uh, kind of follows suit and comes out with DLCs and all kinds of fancy stuff because uh, Dead Island 2 is probably going to be one of my favorite games of the year. I'm a zombie fanatic. We've got a little news on Oculus Rift. For those who don't know about this, this is the uh, VR headset coming out. Now, the uh, pre-order started on January 6th, and I thought the day that I got this info, I thought that they would have sold out almost immediately. They were talking about the price was going to be $350. Um, <laughs> apparently, they have... Uh, enough that they, uh, the, the developers said that they are definitely not going to run out. And with the new price tag of $600 plus, uh, I mean, this uh, that seems steep, but it is VR. If you haven't seen anything, check out YouTube. Check out something that has uh, some video of it. It does look pretty neat. I'm more of a system guy. I like the console to sit down. I, I mean, I haven't tried this Oculus Rift yet. I shouldn't knock it until I try it. But I'm not going to go running out and saving up my $600 to go get it. So we're just playing some music right now. We're going to get back to the, uh, to the talking soon. So yeah, this is basically what happens in the radio studio if you've never seen it. It is just talking to a microphone and that is about it. I've only been doing this for a couple of months and I'm the only one in the studio right now. There is no producer or nothing here, it's just me. So it can get a little overwhelming at times. I've had some complications at times, but everything's pretty good. So we're, we're rolling now and uh, the show's coming through loud and clear. Hope you're listening. Hope you're getting in on this. So back to the show. Now normally I will play three or four songs during my show just because uh, I like music a lot as well and there's a, you know there's no harm in playing a bunch of good tunes uh, sometimes it's only sometimes it's a uh, Sabbath and good old stuff like that other days it is techno and dance music and other days like today it's just good old-fashioned rock and roll so Gotta play some tunes, gotta be entertaining, right? So everybody likes music on a Saturday morning, especially when it's good old hard rock. So yeah, like I said, hope you guys are listening. Okay, so moving on from the tunes, we are gonna talk about my favorite game right now, the game that is making waves. It is Just Cause 3. 10, 15 minute wingsuit flights. I actually had my longest wingsuit flight ever uh, last night at five plus minutes that wingsuit is sick you know I, I got the the Pisa suit in dying uh, in dying light and it's just not the same it, it's more of a gliding suit it doesn't really allow you to fly because you can come crashing down so easily in dying light but this one this wingsuit this wingsuit is badass you can just you can go crazy man last night when I did the five minute plus I just took a, took a helicopter up as high as I possibly could until it stalled out and then jumped out of the chopper and I mean, it was five plus minutes. I probably could have gone for a little bit longer. Maybe if I tweaked my flight a little bit, but nonetheless, it was fun. Uh, there's a video up on YouTube. You can find it on my channel, Yutzman Gaming. I know that was a shameless plug, but this is my radio show and I can't say what I want. Wingsuits, helicopters, and I've, I found an Apache helicopter with like guns and rockets. Uh, airplanes. Uh, I have flown some airplanes. I haven't found any of the big massive planes yet or any planes with guns on them. I know you can get like jet fighters in this game though, which is, that is, I mean, to play a game like this and still be, have to be able to have access to these sort of vehicles, I mean, a jet fighter is something that you would have in a game that is based around jet fighters. Not about a game that is based around having fun and hilarious moments. But, nonetheless, I love it because of that. And the first time I actually seen the train, I actually landed a helicopter on the train tracks, watched the train crash into the helicopter, and then it, was, it just happened to be right on a bend, and the train derailed and flew over the cliff. It was actually quite an epic little moment, and you know, those are the things that I like to see in games, epic stuff. Now, you can, like I said, you can also get the tank. The tank is amazing. It is very powerful. It takes a lot for, for it to be destroyed. I mean, I drove around for probably 15 minutes constantly blowing stuff up before I finally was taken offline by somebody. 
you can use C4 and blow up huge bridges. Now, this, every time I go over a bridge now, regardless of what, what's happening, I, I try to blow up the bridge. I just find it awesome. It's a good visual. There are huge car jumps and cliffs for you to drive off of. Not only are the jumps awesome, but the cliffs, you can just take a Lamborghini and drive it off a cliff, and it's sick because you can drive it right in a little land right in the ocean, and you can spin while you're in the air, you can spin the cars, so you can do cool 720s or 360s. Uh, I got some awesome game jump, car jumping gameplay uh, on my channel, Yutzman Gaming, another shameless plug, I know, thank you. Another segment done, baby. Mm, having a good morning today, really feeling it. Now, I still tend to make uh, some mistakes here and there, but like I said, I'm still very new to this whole thing, only a few months in, but that's no excuse. I'm working on it week after week. I love this show, I love doing this. It's super fun, and uh, there's nothing better. It's my favorite hour of the week coming in here. I'm just, like I said, I'm by myself, playing the music that I want, talking about the stuff that I want, and all the shameless YouTube plugs that I get to put on this show is fantastic. So, I'm gonna take a little break, I'll be right back. Catch you guys in a minute. So, at the end of the show, before I close out with a couple more tunes, I always like to give myself uh, the old uh, shameless plug on YouTube, and like I said, it's my show, so... Fortunately, I get to talk uh, about what I want to. So, my YouTube channel, I, I have two of them uh, right now, and one of them is Yutzman Gaming, that's Y-U-T-Z-M-A-N, Space Gaming, that is my main channel, that is the one that I love the most, uh, it's mostly gaming, there is some other stuff on it that I do, uh, I've done a couple of challenges, uh, the Warhead Challenge being one, I highly recommend you never do this, well, I, my, my mouth was riddled with cankers, my teeth hurt, I could hardly brush my teeth, the inside of my mouth felt like dragon skin, uh, all for, you know, for about 8 or 9 days, it, it was quite horrible. But mainly I do game reviews, walkthroughs, or just fun stuff with what's going on with games, uh, the coolest stuff. I, I try to check out all the unlockables and all the hard to find stuff and, and make videos on it, uh, some Black Ops gameplay, stuff like that. Dying Light, a lot of zombie content, a lot of, a lot of stuff coming up too. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, make sure you get in bef uh, before February because February is going to be a huge month. We've got three big games coming out. We've got... Uh, the following DLC, Far Cry Primal, and I believe Dead Island 2 is coming out in February. I'm going to have to look more into this because that is going to be my game. That is going to be my jam for the year. Uh, unless Tom Clancy's The Division is as good as it sounds, uh, then that will be my jam. But as of right now, uh, even Dying Light The Following, as epic and fantastic as I want it to be, I was a Dead Island fan from day one, and... I've been waiting for Dead Island 2 for so, so very long, and for it to be on the brink here, almost out, uh, I am jacked up. So that's it, another one in the books. That is my show, it's gameplay, it's on from 7 till 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on 100.3 Sound FM CKMS. I don't know if you can find that on the internet, probably. So, uh, yeah, all gaming news all the time, reviewing new movies, uh, I'll talk of anything sci-fi, cool, space-related, awesome guns, explosions, video games, all that cool stuff. That is the show. Uh, Yutzman Gaming is the channel. Check it out on YouTube. And uh, yeah, everybody have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. I'm Mark from Yutzman Gaming, and I'm out. Where are you, fucks? Yeah, I'm dead, fuckers. I'm going to pull away my